Right. It's the leather. This is a new look. When did you get out of the dresses and into the ripped jeans look? Um, when I don't care. Oh. I don't know. Kind of a coincidence then? Is that, it's not a, it's not a whole new theme. No. Oh, by the way, we're talking to Lori from The Millions. Um, what was it like working with Terry Brown? That's the same Terry Brown that produced the Rush album. Indeed. Swell fella. Very nice. Yeah. Really, um, no question. Did he have his own way of doing things, or was he pretty open to what the band was trying to sound like and then trying to help you find that sound? <laughs> well, it couldn't have been too traumatic, or else maybe it was very traumatic and you're blocking well, it. Yeah. When we recorded the album, they did the um, basic tracks, the bass and the drums in Canada. And then we went to Chicago and did the guitars at the The thing about when we were in Chicago is the studio time was booked in the middle of the night, like 6 to 6, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. For, you know, cheaper rates. And, you know, I stay up pretty late, but I don't really, you know, I didn't really dig it. 5.30 in the morning yeah. is not your peak time? No. So it was kind of hard. But, I mean, it was great. It's just like, a, you know, it's crazy. If you can do something for your life, what you like to do a lot, you should do it. And everybody should know that. You can't just just you can't, but you really can do whatever you want. Do whatever the hell you want. Figure it out what it is you like doing. Mm -hmm. That's and don't worry, and then the money will come, maybe. Yeah, it, it can be. Or don't worry about the money. Yeah, don't worry about the money. Uh -huh. If you're having fun at your job, you can't, because you know, it gets rid of a lot of stress. Well, he, yeah, he, yeah. Cracker yeah. yeah. Don. Cracker Don, sorry. Okay. I took your advice and I ate it. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting tired now. Uh, well, anything else you'd like to add? Um, <laughs> Should I show my pacemaker? Your pacemaker? Okay. Now, when did you do this? So, July 24th. First, 23rd? Yeah, I don't remember. Got it? Yep. Now, what was that the result of? Oh, I died. <laughs> so this angel thing we're, we're fairly serious on. Yeah, we're serious. <laughs> like, I take it you were out and down for the count and the whole thing? A minute and 20 seconds. I was gone. Do you remember anything from that time? One bright light. Yeah. One of those things you thought was like so hard to tell you. Yeah. The Howard State stage. Uh, it was. It was like I was watching something. I didn't see anything. Nice, warm, bright light. Very calm. So it's actually the same. Same distance. That happened just this year? That's yeah. We did all of that. So they used to think I had a seizure disorder. Yeah. Then, oh. Turns out that it was. It's a nerve malfunction. My electrical system inside messes up. I do a kind of yeah. It messes up and makes my heart rate and my blood pressure drop right when they need to go up sometimes. And it went all the way down. In the hospital, I was taking a test. All hooked up. Now, how did that change? I mean, I would think that would make a big attitude adjustment in your life. It happens kind of suddenly, but that, you know, I think that time has no meaning to me.